Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, give me a like if you found this helpful. Today we're going to be talking about setting up the Elgato HD60X, so it's this thing right here, with OBS Studio. And the issue I was having was that the audio was coming in completely distorted. I found this workaround where I can get the video and audio into QuickTime and then I can stream the QuickTime window and have the audio and video I need. So just to show the setup here, I have the Nintendo Switch HDMI going into the Elgato. I have an HDMI going out from the Elgato to my television and a USB-C going from my um, from the capture card to my MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip. I saw a lot of people online were having trouble either with these capture cards and Max or um, more specifically probably the new Apple Silicon chips. So let me share my screen so you can see. So I'll show you uh, the setup for the Elgato HD60X, how they say you should do it. And I'll show you the issue I was having. So the video works fine. Let me add a new video capture device. You say, okay, what's the device? It's the game capture HD60X. There's the video I'm playing Pokemon right now. And let's try to get some audio in here. So I think it sounds like this is a Mac only thing where you need to uh, add the audio input capture separately from the video input capture. All right, so I go to audio input capture, create new. I choose the device as the Game Capture HD 60X. And right here, you can see there is some some sort of audio signal coming through. But let me pump it up for you. It was the audio input capture too, right? Oh yeah, also like you typically have to do monitor and output in order to hear what's going on. So I'll put that on for you. If you see, it's like extremely low volume typically. So let's pump it up to 500 so you can see how messed up it sounds. Yeah, probably even pump it up higher. But yeah, as you can tell, it's extremely messed up. That is not what Pokemon is supposed to sound like. So let me get rid of that. Uh, remove. And just for the sake of not being confusing, let me get rid of the capture card itself. And now what we're going to do for the workaround is start up QuickTime. And up here, we're going to go to File, New Movie Recording. And yeah, I have it set up already. Let me make it a little smaller so you can see. I have it set up already to uh, be looking at my Elgato HD60X. But just in case you don't, you hit this little arrow next to the record button. And you would choose for your camera the capture card. And you would choose for the microphone the capture card as well. And then you have to put the audio up. And there you go. Yeah, so that's my solution, uh, my workaround for getting the video and audio from an Elgato HD60X into. OBS Studio using QuickTime because I couldn't seem to get the audio to work properly just using OBS Studio. So I had to use 
quick time to get the video and audio in and then OBS studio to stream the audio and video. Yeah. So uh, hopefully you found that uh, helpful. Thanks for watching. Please like, and subscribe.